Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let me get to some, we've got like eight minutes because we're burning through time here really fast. Hey Pete, are there any, do you ever have a day with like, I mean, do you have some ties that, I mean, you're, you're, I know your job is not like, okay, well, I don't know which, I don't know what you do on a daily basis. But do you ever go in and just go, like, uh, have a hard time focusing? <laughs> oh, well, that's every day, dude. There's so many. <laughs> I mean, I, I go with Is he a like... dude? Is he a dude? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. Right. I, uh, I go in with a clean slate, uh, thinking I'll, I'll at least be able to work on my special projects and hopefully mm -hmm. deliver something to the guys. Oh, my gosh. It's just whiplashes back and forth. and mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's okay. great. Especially well, right I, now. I, I, fortunately, fortunately for yourself, you have a lot of people that are in charge of various things yeah, uh, yeah. but um but that's, yeah I, I, that's, the hard to focus. that's the secret that's the secret yeah yeah uh pete do you ever get distracted by your uh mini bike obsession when you go <laughs> to brownells i'm just my asking hey, wait, 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 walter is obsessed asking, with mini bikes instead of building guns he's in there building mini bikes and he's asking you this question because he's guilty <laughs> of it <laughs> They were asking in the chat about the guitars in the background. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, that's yeah. true. Do you yep. play? I do. I'm trying. I'm trying to play. So what do I okay. play? I like blues and uh, kind of like um, uh, Richard Thompson. Everybody knows the old uh, Fairport Convention. Really great guitars. Leo Kaki, those kind of players that know how to pick well. Okay. Um, but blues is it, man. That's that's kind of why I'm. And my kids play too. So. Are you taking like formal lessons? Are you doing it over the internet? You got a DVD set? What are you? How are you, how are you uh, oh, internet and internet. Uh, formal. Okay, yeah. okay cool. I was right. gonna say, I'm at the I'm at the really bad stage right now. Okay, how often <laughs> are you playing? Like once a day or? Yeah, one, about every other day. Okay. All right. Yeah, like tonight, sunsets will be out there practicing. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. that's how you got to do it. You know, now, they were also asking in the chat about when do you think the shortages are going to end? Yeah, so ammo. You know? John Parsons was asking about ammo company deliveries. I'll, we'll try to get that in there. And smash the thumbs ups, by the way. Don't let this show end and we're, we're not at 100 thumbs ups, okay? We're, like, we need literally 16 more thumbs ups to get there. So come on, people. Smash the thumbs ups. Okay, so yes, answer ammo. So let's, let's jump into ammo real quick. Um, I believe that we're going to have this, whatever happens in November, we're going to be through um, the, the reaction, I think, third quarter next year. So that's going to be a right around September. Let's figure out, uh, that's the next point where my crystal ball becomes really cloudy. I think we're going to slide, uh, slide down and, and calm down. I think COVID hopefully will be over or at least November. the panic around it will be over. Either mm -hmm. we'll have all caught it and lived through it or the, or whatever, or there'll be some kind of solution. Mm -hmm. And then all the political unrest that's that's gonna come about will be uh, being addressed. Mm -hmm. One candidate, both candidates will have their way of addressing it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's gonna slow down and free back up third quarter next year, 2020, uh, 2021. Yeah. Uh, Brian Quick says, can we give a thumbs up for all the people that work in the warehouse, filling orders, <laughs> shipping and receiving, those folks make it happen? That's true. That place is like uh, the post office. Well, no, not the post office. Wait. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I retract my statement. <laughs> it's like UPS or FedEx over there. Here, I'll snap a photo of that. See, you guys can... Uh... Yeah. I'll send it out and, tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> and, and also, also with the ammunition, you got to remember that the ammunition manufacturers. I was told when this, like when Newtown was going on, mm -hmm. they set quotas of how much of each thing they're making each year, and and figure that whole thing out. So for them just to automatically huh. increase things, it doesn't a lot of times work in their schedules and plans and and stuff like that. So plus, yeah. plus a lot of them make stuff for the military too. So and you're not going to interrupt right. the military stuff. Yeah. So, right. By the uh, way, Guns, uh, Guns and Gear says Vista CEO said the same timeline. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. and then yeah. Guns and Gear uh, says Pete works in the warehouse as well. Yeah. That's I true. go up and pick orders when they're, when they're, yeah. Need a little break back there. Yeah. Can we tell some stories? So, I don't have the picture evidence right here in front of me, but when I came over there, and uh, I don't know if you remember. You should remember this, Pete. I came there, and you guys didn't want to let me stay in the warehouse. 
as long as I wanted to. <laughs> and, yeah. and people might think that was a joke, but that warehouse, you actually cannot do that. <laughs> it's a lot of scurrying around back there. So yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, if you look at the so, video of me trying to hide out from these guys in the warehouse, yes, we were having fun, <laughs> but no, you cannot stay. <laughs> Trust me, I tried. Um, so I remember, like, uh, so where you park, where yours parking spot is, the employee of the month gets to park right next to you. Sure. Yeah, you yeah. don't know this. I have a picture somewhere. I actually parked in that spot right next. <laughs> <laughs> and I took a All picture. Of... Huh? <laughs> oh, I, you know, I got a couple of guys in the industry. They'll uh, they'll come in uh, and I'll be out and they'll they'll give me snap photos of them with their feet up on my chair or, you know, <laughs> or drinking from the peat cup that I got. Oh like, boy. You know, Goals. They're into the lounge. They're, they're... <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. Was and then fun. Lola was reminding me of shot show. I, I want to say two, was it two years ago? Um, shot show two years ago at media day, there was this uh, dude that came up to me. And by the way, a lot of my, a lot of my fans, are uh you know first of all listen i've got black fans white fans there's, there's a lot of white guys uh, some very hairy ones big beards stuff like that so a guy came up to me at media day and he was like hey hank strange how you doing and everything so i'm talking to him i'm like i don't know who this guy is <laughs> and media oh, day every the with the beer yeah everyone's not supposed to be at media day but this guy's just talking to me and i'm like and then he goes i think he realized i didn't recognize who it is he's like yeah you know i'm pete pete brownell <laughs> <laughs> that's how yeah. i met him too he had he had a growth on his face yeah he had a big, had a big beard for a bit big old bushy beard there so it was actually pretty cool you know uh pete got food from the food trucks and uh there was a bunch of guys uh there with us like mike from mw tactical i think clover tack was there and we all sat down in the tent um eating stuff and first they didn't know who that was either and then they're, they're like saying do you know that's like uh, Pete Brown out there? And Pete was just hanging out with us. You are really just a regular dude. Yeah. 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 As crazy as that may sound, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it was me, Pete, I'm coming to Media Day in my helicopter. <laughs> you get roll in with your, your entourage. Get yeah. Some, my helicopter is landing and I'm getting special <laughs> tents. Special tents are coming out. My, my chef is coming out and making me a special meal. The other people oh, only dear. get to look at me. <laughs> eating my meal no. <laughs> but that's good oh, i think that's it. a good thing as you know um uh you know that's a cool thing I, I i know that sounds like pretty simple or whatever but that to me is something that i think is cool because i've been doing this for a while and i've seen a lot of guys that like i've been into offices where the guy has a you know he's got a waterfall in his office and golden stack all kinds of crazy stuff but his employees are, you know, there's no air conditioning where those guys are. So, you know, I appreciate it when I see the opposite of that, where like the, the that building you guys have there in Grinnell is awesome. There's a store. It's it's like Ikea inside of there. There's lots of nice places for the employees to eat and rest and all of that kind of stuff. There's a yeah. high security. And, you know, it's not um, at least it doesn't seem like it's all about you. No, no, my. I get reminded uh, daily that um, I uh, put my pants on one leg at a time, and I still need to do the dishes and put my shoes away. And, and <laughs> wait, you uh, got to do the things. dishes? <laughs> I, yeah, I do. That's right. That's right. Don't tell, um, don't tell Lola about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is why you have kids. That's right. Make right. the kids do the dishes. No. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah, my kids think they're no, too it's, good it's, to do uh, the dishes. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a great community. I love to, I love to be in it. Just be one of the regular guys in it. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Walter, is there something you want to say before I start uh, wrapping up here? So, Pete, do you have children? What, what are they yeah, in the business? I got, I got three kids. Um, they're just going off to college now. My youngest is still here. We'll be a oh, okay. just household with one kid left in it. All right. Oh, yeah. Big adventure people. So yeah. So you can't you walk know. around the house naked yet. Do whatever no. you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't do it either. <laughs> Soon, one of these, that's the dream. So, <laughs> you know, that's the dream. I, I have a dream. <laughs> yes, uh, you got to have a dream. No, it's a, I think in the end, you'll, like, I know for me, I've got one that's away and one that's there. And, you know, they're, they're your baby still. Yep, I'm you the know. guy that's going to be missing them and traveling out to see them all the time. Yeah, yeah. family's important. And yeah. Very important, so, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's do this here because we're at 9 o'clock. 
Um, I'm sure there's more things you guys want to ask, but you know, I appreciate Pete coming on. So what I want to do is like wrap everything up here, and uh, I'm going to start with Walter. Walter, if the folks out yes, there sir. want to, uh, you know, get in touch with you, find out what you're doing, how can they do that? Best way is um, best way is to call us on the phone. But if you if you like to use the interweb, which I do, mm -hmm. safetyoverfirearms.com, everything's on there that we have. Um, there's also the social media, which is. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, our Safety Ever Firearms, and then of course the mini bike stuff, which is uh, Dirtfoot Racing, and that's on, uh, yeah, on um, on those same platforms also. So um, yeah, everyone yeah, go to Dirtfoot out. Racing and tell Walter to make more guns. Make more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on barrels right now for the fifteen right. barrels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe. But we are making stocks and stuff like that. So. Yeah, maybe Pete knows uh, someone that makes some fifty BMG barrels. <laughs> oh, it's it's a slim it's a slim uh, uh yeah it's a small uh, market yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so pete i know you probably don't do a lot of social media but for the folks out there who want to know the best ways to uh to communicate with the folks over at uh brownells you know what would you say that you know w what they need to do there uh well 800 number you always get get a hold of me through the internet number or six mm -hmm. or direct line six four one six two three five four zero one or mm -hmm. send me an email pb at brownells com. It's pretty simple. Okay, awesome. There you go. All right, so stay right there, Pete. I'm gonna I'm gonna wish everyone good night here. I want to remind people to uh, go to hankstrange.com, sign up for our email list. Big thanks to Safety Harbor Firearms for sponsoring the podcast here. We really appreciate that. Also, big thanks to Pete for coming on. And for uh, my friend Ryan for, uh, for making this happen, uh, hashtag BOP. Shout out to Ryan and Josh and Roy, of course, and all the folks over at Brownells. Everyone at Brownells is awesome. You know, there were some people that were helping me hide when I was running away. There were some people that were trying to help track me down, but, you know, it's all good. Stay right there. I'm going to hit the end. For Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.